Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about ELISA. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. The word ELISA means enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. It's an immunoassay technique for measuring antigen, antibodies, proteins, glycoproteins in biological samples. ELISA is based on the principle of interaction of antigen and antibody. And the main advantage of ELISA is that multiple samples can be performed at once. And generally ELISA is performed in a 96 well plate format. And this allows to perform the samples in replicates. For ELISA, special protein binding plates are used such as the NUNC plates. And uh, this special types of plates helps in the binding of antigen or antibody to the well surface. Based on the type of uh, application, different formats of ELISA can be performed. This includes uh, direct ELISA, indirect ELISA, sandwich ELISA and competitive ELISA. In direct ELISA, antigen is coated on the uh, ELISA plate and uh, antibody, primary antibody conjugated with an enzyme is added to the well for the detection. In indirect ELISA, antigen is coated on the well and uh, primary antibody is added and then secondary antibody with the enzyme tag is added to for the detection. In sandwich ELISA, the plate well is coated with a capture antibody. Then the sample is added followed by either a secondary antibody with a conjugate or a secondary antibody then a detection antibody is added. In competitive ELISA, the plate well is uh, coated with a reference antigen and the sample is mixed with a antibody conjugate. So the antibody conjugate and the antigen interacts with the sample and that is added to the well having the reference antigen. When the sample is having a less number of uh, antigen, uh, there are free antibodies present, more number of free antibodies present in the solution that will bind to the reference antigen and will give a higher signal. Whereas when the sample is having high number of uh, antigen, there will be less free antibody for the binding to the reference antigen present in the well. So less signal is observed. Let's see the overview of uh, uh, sandwich ELISA. In the sandwich ELISA, the capture antibody is coated on the plate and uh, after coating, the wells are washed to remove excess capture antibody. And the second step is to add the sample to be analyzed and uh, incubated with the capture antibody. After the incubation step, the wells are washed to remove the unbound. And in the third step, detection antibody, uh, the antibody with the conjugate enzyme is added to the well. Generally, uh, HRP or uh, alkaline phosphatase is used as the enzyme. And in the fourth step, the substrate for the enzyme is added to develop color. And the substrate is generally used are uh, TMB or ABTS. Once the color is developed, optical density is measured. To quantify the antigen uh, or antibody in the sample, first a standard curve need to be generated using the known concentration of antigen and or antibody and the concentration of unknown can be calculated from the standard curve. So based on this, the uh, amount of antigen or antibody present in the biological sample can be calculated. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.